Hi, my name is Subhashish. I would be talking today about an initiative that I started to create authority control data for about 20,000 Indian artists and artisans in collaboration with the Getty Research Institute. To give a little bit of context, the artists that I'm referring to here are from the state of Odisha in India. And uh, prior to creating this project, there was no um, sort of comprehensive biographical information that was available uh, on a notable platform that would be accepted um, as citation on Wikipedia or and Wikimedia projects. The historical factors that impact this is the Indian caste system and the inadequate uh, post-colonial um, caste system that continued despite of the legislative um, changes to, uh, to uh, abolish the caste system. The caste system uh, is a socioeconomic stratification that uh, divide people into four main groups, Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, and Shudras that are also called uh, Savarnas. And uh, there are many jatis or castes that are under these four uh, groups. The socioeconomic privileges that are given to um, Brahmins would be the highest uh, and then Kshatriyas and then Vaishyas and then Shudras are supposed to serve all the three other um, Savarnas. The uh, Shudras, the Bahujans, uh, which includes the Dalits, Adivasis, and other min minoritized uh, religious groups such as the Muslims and Christians, have been historically uh, uh, marginalized in many ways. They have been excluded from places like the Hindu temples, and the Hindu temples have been uh, used to keep historical records, and uh, the Brahmins and the Kshatriyas mostly have uh, the ultimate power on uh, whose records are recorded and whose uh, records are kept in these temples. Uh, that has impacted what has happened uh, post-1947 when India became a republic and uh, the socioeconomic dominance of Savarnas has continued after that. Uh, this is despite the legislative efforts to abolish caste-based discrimination. Now, the impact on that uh, of that on the authority data is also quite prominent. The um, post-colonial dominance of Savarnas, Savarnas in the higher education and public sector has impacted uh, the knowledge that is curated and uh, the knowledge about those that is curated. So um, many of the marginalized groups that I talked about earlier uh, have seen the information about them being suppressed and erased. And this is also seen on Wikipedia where many Dalit contributions have been repressed and erased. The uh, project that I started was primarily to document data, the biographical data about the visual artists uh, and other artists from the state of Odisha, my home state. Uh, so initially I found out that there are 700 artists records that are there on the Odisha uh, Lalit Kala Academy's website, which is a state um, agency, and that was curated in the uh, in in 2016. Uh, so I got in touch with the Getty Research Institute and requested them to create a union list of artist names about these artists. They are definitely notable uh, as their details are recorded on this government portal. And uh, in collaboration with uh, Getty, I started creating the metadata, uh, the biographical metadata about each artist and then uh, Getty helped create uh, about 700 ULAN IDs that are uh, accepted on Wikidata as well as on Wikipedia. Uh, and right now we're collaborating together to create about 20,000 new ULAN records for Odisha born artisans. Uh, this is from another government portal, uh, the federal government portal. Something that we learned in the whole process is that the repression of information about marginalized communities is extremely high uh, uh, due to the representation imbalance and the lack of biographical data for Indian artists from these marginalized groups is also really high. Uh, we were successfully uh, able to create 700 ULAN records and Wikidata entries reflected those records uh, as citations. And uh, these uh, entries are now have notability for Wikipedia. And uh, there's uh, definitely more efforts to create more records about artists and improve public knowledge. But we also realized 
that uh, Wikipedia and the Wikimedia projects have um, an inherent Western centric uh, notability criteria and a, and a very generalized criteria that excludes the nuanced challenges in different um, uh, contexts, particularly from South Asia, that has a strong caste system, but uh, and and the caste system has impacted how knowledge is curated and who has authority over uh, different platforms and different portals, uh, and which portals are accepted as notable portals and which ones are not. Um, so there is definitely need for progressive and more nuanced citation process on Wikipedia. Uh, that understands, that acknowledges the systemic socioeconomic oppression and its impact on authority data. And uh, obviously there is need for long-term uh, uh, repair and healing, which includes abolishing the caste system in the first place. Um, the interim solutions include uh, civil society initiatives and specific citation processes and, uh, and recommending those to the Wikimedia community. The... Um, uh, the other larger uh, thing that I also learned from this is that there are challenges in terms of finding data and finding portals or finding places that would be accepted on the Wikimedia projects. And these issues have to be documented as well. There has to be uh, more emphasis on uh, accurate representation and inclusion of marginalized artists in authoritative records. Otherwise, we'll see a lot of biased records uh, being created. Uh, and those uh, could impact how uh, large language models are created. Um, and the uh, ongoing data enhancement projects have to be collaborative. Uh, organizations and communities have to work together, and there has to be more advocacy to include uh, citation practices, to make citation practices inclusive in the first place. Thank you so much.